Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about units and dimensions and we are going to solve a problem where we need to find the dimensions of a physical quantity where trigonometric function is involved in the problem. The problem is given like this, integral of dx by 2ax minus x square equal to a power n sin inverse of x by a minus 1. Then what is the value of the n? That is the problem that we need to solve. So, the first thing that we can notice here is there is a trigonometrical function sin inverse of x by a minus 1. So, the first thing that we need to know is dimensional formula has a limitation. Dimensional analysis has some limitation. <coughs> what is the limitation that it has is trigonometrical functions and exponential functions will not be having any dimensions here trigonometrical function that is sin inverse of something what is given for you will not have any dimension will not have any dimensions that means taking that into consideration you have something like sin inverse of x by a minus 1 in the RHS. That means, x by a minus 1 has no dimensions. Anyway, we know 1 is a number, it will not have any dimensions. That means, x by a has no dimensions that is possible only when x and a are having similar dim dimensions that means x and a are having same dimensions the meaning of writing e is they do not mean physically equal they simply mean that they are having a same dimensions taking that into consideration and writing the LHS equations we can write now the LHS of the equation as integral of dx by root of 2ax minus x square. But a and x has same dimensions. So, if you write the dimensions of LHS, integral of dx is a length having a dimensions of say for example, some L square root of A has same dimensions of L because A because X is nothing but L and the L A has a similar dimensions of X that is also nothing but L minus X square is nothing but equal to L square. So, it has a dimensions of integral of L by root of 2L square minus L square. Numbers does not matter, it simply has a dimensions of L by square root of L square that is also equal to L. So, root L by L that means it is 1 that means the LHS has no dimensions. As LHS has no dimensions, RHS also has no dimensions. This is basing on the principle of homogeneity. Two equa equations LHS side has to be equal to the RHS side. That means, RHS we have already proved sin inverse of something is not having any dimension. A power n also has not having any dimensions. A power n has no dimensions. That is possible only when value of the n is equal to 0 therefore, a power 0 becomes 1. So, the value of n is simply equal to 0. This is how we can solve a problem by taking a basic concept like trigonometrical functions are not having any dimension formulas. Taking that simple concept, we can solve the problem as shown here. Thank you for stopping by. We will be solving more and more problems over this website venkatsacademy.com as well as the YouTube channel. 
visit back again thank you